Hello everybody, welcome back. I'll fill you in in the paint with the paints I'm using today. So that's uh, PBA Red and uh, PBA Black. And I'm going to be using my Deco Art Black Pearl and Deco Art White Pearl today. So this is a, a 12 by 16 inch canvas. So I'm going to be needing approximately 250 moles of paint. So I'm just going to go in with the black first. And I'm going to layer my paints. So all my paints are mixed, um, two parts paint, uh, sorry, <laughs> two parts Floetrol to one part paint, but then I also have a little bit of water, and that's just to get to the right consistency. So this paint is pretty thick, because I'm going to be doing a ring pour, so you really need to leave, the paint should really leave a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound <laughs> like lots of mountains and then we'll go in with the rest of the red and that should bring me to about 250 moles hoping I'm not having any lumps because um, I find that this red because it's so thick it actually doesn't really mix all that well like you have to mix 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 like forever right so first of all what I want to do is um, I just want to put some of this black on so I've left it in the bottle because I only had half a bottle left so this is one part paint to one part flow trial um, just leave that one over there for a minute So yeah, yeah, as you can see, I'm just doing it a little bit di differently. Not the same old, same old. Um, I'm just going to spread this out a little bit because the idea is also to let the paint flow easily. So I'll just just bring it to the corners and the edges. It is still pretty thick actually. Didn't realize it was going to be that thick. Just use a clean stick for this, for the white. Just get that all in there. Mm. 
Let's do this and see what magic we can get out of this cup. Made a drop. Okay, so let's go round and round. We want to go back to the center and let's just go with that edge there. And then we get that corner off over there. I think this is looking beautiful already. I don't see any cells popping up yet. Sorry guys, I know you're out of um, shot. Let's bring it back. Okay. I quite like that actually. And this has a great effect in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'll just cover this corner. Let's see. And then I'm going to give it a torch and then I'll bring you guys down to have a closer look. I think I'll let it, I'll torch it and let it stand for a couple of minutes because I want to see if these cells are going to pop up. I can see some white ones popping up here already and maybe some black ones in this corner here, there's a lot of bubbles, and that's always a good sign.
Okay hey guys, so I didn't like what was going on in the sides, it was a bit too stark. I do however like what's going on in the centre and a bit of this. There's still a lot of cells, no, no matter how much I've tilted it, of course the cells are still there. So what I've decided to do, I need to rescue this and I think I'm going to go in with a open cup pour. So my paint is pretty thin. Let's see how we get on with this. So I've got my 24 karat gold and just the same black and red. I don't want you going that way, you go this way. Um, okay, that's looking a little wild. So what I was trying to do is actually keep the centre part. But I may not be able to by the looks of it. Okay, let's um let's keep going. And go in with some more black. using a little less gold this time. Okay, I was wanting to keep that but <coughs> let's see how this goes. I must say, I do really like what's happening here. Isn't that gold beautiful? It actually reminds me of like snakeskin. The red. It's a bit of a shame that I've lost that centre part there actually.
I think that's looking nice. And I think to have those rings still in the, you know, just here and there, actually looks quite nice. Take off some of that. Hmm. actually looking good. So I might just leave those corners the way they are. Take some more of here. I'm going to give this a torch. Sort that out there. And then I'll bring you in for a look. <coughs> I do like the way it's actually, you know, with the, the rings there. I think leaving the rings there was a good idea. This has been sitting for a little while. And as you can see, it's actually turned out really, really nicely. I like the effects that this um, ring pull has on the sides here and I'm actually pretty happy that I've pulled over it. Excuse the light reflection. And that red in between the gold, absolutely stunning. There's some really interesting things going on here and I love the way the the rings have come through here as well. Well guys, Friday the 13th pour. It seems it's turned out um, nicer than it actually started. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good Friday the 13th. Yeah, I really like this. The effects are pretty awesome. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.